Good morning, guys. Oh, there we go. Um, I completely forgot I had a freaking doctor appointment this morning. So now I'm feeling really rushed. It's only 6.30 and my doctor appointment's at 9, but I gotta bring Chris to work. So by the time I get back here, it's just gonna be a mess. I gotta wait for my mom to come watch the, and watch the girls. So I'm just feeling like super stressed out now. Poppy, so, come in. Yeah. There's nothing Poppy. worse than feeling in a rush. Like, I really Poppy. hate it. Poppy. And everything Poppy. just seems to take longer Poppy. when you're in a rush, you know? Poppy, watch him in my house. Yep, she's gonna watch it when I go to my doctor's. Thankfully, my doctor's is literally, much. like, right next we door. Okay. You will cry. You'll cry? Yeah. Why? About you. About me? Yeah. Why are you going to cry about me? Because you're going to talk. It's, it's okay. I'm only going to be there, like, quickly. Okay. We're not crying. Okay. <laughs> so much. Um, Copy anyways. Play this shot. Yeah, you can do that. While I rush to get everybody ready, um, we went to Maine last weekend. This past weekend, and I started Is the vlog and I actually never finished it. But I did kids. catch this clip, so I'm I'm gonna just throw that in here right now, I and I hope you guys get a good laugh at it. Three minutes. Who's nice? Okay? Is she okay? You okay? You okay? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Yeah, so it was me falling off a kayak. So, I figured I was just gonna start this vlog off on a silly little note. Now let's go drop Chris off at work. I'm gonna go back to the car at 7 in the morning. I've done it. Alright, well, I did the other day at 7.30 after I dropped you off. Coffee. No. Yeah, a maid. What can I get for you? Hi, can I have a large iced caramel swirl it's regular? Get her some large ice caramel. Regular. Yep. Get her some Um, can I also have a large iced hazelnut cream only? Hold on, hold on one second. Alright, we got a large iced caramel regular. And what was your second one? A large iced hazelnut cream only. Large iced hazelnut cream only. Alright, and then can I just have a couple munchkins? Sure, which one? Mmm, surprise us. Oh, you know, probably like just chocolate and glazed. Just chocolate glazed? Sure. Alright, come on down. Hey, get this sweat out! Yeah, I'm just now getting to the doctor's and I'm like kind of nervous to go in. I feel like normally I feel like everyone just thinks I'm lying. Like whenever I go to the doctor's for anything, like, I, I, I don't know, I could have a broken finger and I feel like they would think I was lying about having a broken finger. I'm not nervous about this, that this time just because like there's such like a long history of like me being treated for this stuff. But I haven't been on anything in years and when I was on stuff, I was on like way too much at once like it was crazy whatever but i haven't been anything in years um but like i just like don't know what to say and i think that's what i'm nervous about like i don't know if anyone were to ask me to like explain like the anxiety and the feelings i have to them i feel like i'm just i would have such a hard time explaining it so we'll see what happens but i don't know it can't be normal to literally be thrust at like to be so overwhelmed all year for how I'm gonna decorate for fall. Like that is not normal. Like it's literally an overwhelming feeling I have all year. Or like to the point like I will sit outside the bathroom and listen for Chris to wash his hands and if he doesn't, I'm mad at him all day for it. But is that like an anxiety thing or something else? I don't know. I don't know, we'll see what they have to say. But I should probably go in because I'm sure I have some paperwork to fill out. So I'm just waiting for the doctor to come in. And I'm anxious. I'm like, I've picked all my nails off. Mm, I hate this. I'm outside of Walmart now because I'm waiting for my mom to get here with my children and we're all gonna get our nails done. But I obviously left the doctors and guys, I'm like really torn on what to do. Number one, when I try to explain what's going on with me, I feel like I sound completely freaking ridiculous. Like 
I just I just never know how to explain it right and I just don't think they understand like the magnitude of like what I'm trying to tell them um plus this is my first time like ever seeing like an actual like doctor other than my pediatrician or my gyno so like I don't have like a, a doctor that knows me and like knows my history and stuff like that but either way I'm torn because I'm obviously breastfeeding so I'm like scared that whatever medicine I'm gonna take is gonna go to Piper which it does SSRIs I guess are the safest ones to take when you're breastfeeding or when you're pregnant and she said they're prescribed uh you know all women it's they put me on Zoloft and I guess it's like one of the safest ones you can take it's prescribed to a lot of pregnant people people are breastfeeding whatever but it still passes from me to the baby and it could have negative side effects. I mean, the chances of that happening are very, very slim, but it could. So I'm like, is it selfish of me now to take something if I'm gonna like, cause I feel like if anything like goes wrong with Piper, I'm gonna blame myself. Like, oh, she's not growing fast enough. It's cause I'm on medicine. And like, I feel like it's gonna give me more anxiety. So like, is it selfish of me to take something knowing it could pose a risk to my daughter? I don't know, so I almost didn't get anything, but then I decided to have her give me a prescription because, you know, if I end up not wanting to take it, I don't have to, but at least I have it. Like, I'm just going to talk to my mom more about it because I just, like, I really don't know what to do. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to get my nails done and think about it, but I'm just, like, really torn. Hello, Pookie. Are you getting your nails done too, Charlotte? Pink. Pink? We're not going to pick them, are we? No. I like pink. I like the headband. Aww. She looks happy. Mmm, I got a jalapeno cheddar chicken sandwich. Thought I was going to get a salad and be healthier, but... Oh, that's okay. Can I grab anything else? You have to have any Tabasco. Mm. Yep, you're gonna have some of that too. Thank you. Very good. Oh, Charlotte, this looks so good. Look at all my packages downstairs. I have my friend's baby shower at the end of the month. So, this is all the stuff that I got here for it. Are you good there? We'll see. What? All right, let's just start with the stuff I grabbed at uh, Marshall's the other day. And all of this is stuff that was on her registry. Um, she wanted bottle brushes. So I got, and she's like twin boys. So I got, you have to get like two of everything, you know? What? We don't like dinner. So it looks like you're gonna be hungry. Oh, well, it's something else. You're not having something else. <laughs> Nope, you can go finish your blueberries or all your other snackies on the table. Nice. You have all your snacks on the table. If you're hungry, go eat that. Mama, we want something else. You're not having something else. Look at me. Look at me right now. You're not having whipped cream. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> no. Alright, you want to show everyone what we got for the babies? Yeah. Put my lap. Whoa! Spider girl, spider girl, does whatever a spider girl does. What? Are you gonna show everyone? What are these? Little snack cup, which I have for you, but like honestly, she just never like put her hand. I thought they were a cool idea, but she never like put her no. hand in there to get them, which is weird. What? No, these aren't for you. You have two out there. You have a purple and a pink one. And then I got two of these bull tails. The Dr. Brown's one, but I don't know. All right, let's open up the exciting package from Amazon. All right, no, now you're stepping on everything and these are gifts, so why don't you just move that little booty then? Like, go somewhere. No. Can I stay here? Okay, well then, can you get out of the way? What's, what's that? What? The package that I got. Oh. Oh, also, this is the color that I got really out of my comfort zone but i'm like you know we have like a month left of summer so i might as well do something fun i'm probably gonna hate it tomorrow but i'm stuck with it for a while because i also got on my toes and they can't be two different colors it would look better if i was tan honestly come on box come on box <laughs> these are papers 
No. Where's all those? You know our friend Sandra? Wait, She's having two babies. She comes in an Oprah day? No. Well, Why can't I open this box, dude? I don't know. There we go. These are just for you. How did you know? It's too far. It's too far. Have fun with that. All right. There are two of these little munchkin cups. Probably uses these cups, but not the cool ones with the handles, let's huh? Let's pop them. Now let's pop them. And then I got her some of these bibs, the silicone bibs. I think they're a pack of three. I really want to take them out because they're packaged so nicely. These are mine. Take them out. These are not. mine. Let's pop these. These little bibs. Hi. Nice. You pop them. I'm looking at all the stuff that I got. Ooh. I can't. No, I oh, come on. I anyway, should have taken them out. Oh, these are. I'm not going to get it back in so pretty I got it. I don't want to do it right now. Can I look through these stuff first, please? And then we can do it. All right. And then we got some of the silicone bowls, which I guess I. Didn't know I got them from the same mine. company, but I did, and all the colors match. So that works in my corner. So these silicone bowls. Cute, cute. These weren't on her registry, but you these know. are mine? No. None of this is for you. Is this mine? No. Nope. You're not a baby anymore. You don't need those. What are these? You have them out there. If we're hyper now. Got her the little little feeder thing that you put like the fresh fruit in and they can eat or honestly whatever you want you can put in there eat so mine try that link none of this is for you and then this is the last thing and then i'm gonna get her just like a big pack of diapers Coffee. too i got her these plates suction plates along with oh it's cute look at these little baby cups so cute, and then like the little spoon. The whole, oh, my God, what are you doing to me? And these, and just like more of all that kind of stuff. So that's what I got, Tara, and I figured this should be enough. And then we'll just get her like a big thing of diapers and wipes, but I thought that, that was good. Last one. She got done to do it. Oh. Why are you hiding? Bong. Now, that's one. Yeah, hi. Let me have it. We got this milk the other day in Maine. So good, this. This is a blueberry one. I know, I know, but you know, if you think about it, people drink strawberry and chocolate milk all the time. But the sound of blueberry milk does sound a little, mm, but guys, dare I say, it's delicious, so good. The chocolate one was even better. It was like so creamy and yummy, but Chris drank all that. So we have a strawberry milk left that my sister bought M, and this blueberry milk, it is so good. That your sister bought M? My sister bought Charlotte. You know what I was thinking they should have though, like cereal flavored milks. I had one a couple days ago. That would be good. There's like banana ones. I thought I didn't see that one this time. And like a vanilla one. And they're yummy. So shout out Harris Farms in uh, Dayton, Maine. Uh, look. I wasn't kidding earlier. My pocket is full of my gel nail polish that I picked off in the doctor's office. You know what? I was more respectful. I didn't throw all of it on the floor. Made a little pile in my pocket. <laughs> This girl, you hear her in there? It's been so freaking hard to get her to go to bed lately. Gabe, now she's pulling out the Gabe card. And her thing is lately, she tells me, she called me in there, tells me she has to go potty. Because how do you really say no to that? Even though I just brought her on the potty and she went, right before she went into bed. 
I put her in there, put her in bed, tell them she's gonna potty again. I know she's full of crap, but I humor her and I take her and I go, Charlotte, it's the last time. We're not coming back in the potty. What do I do? As soon as I shut the door, I have to go potty. Because watch, the one time I deny her to go in the potty, she'll actually have to. And she'll go in her pants and I'm gonna feel horrible. But I, I just, I know she's full of shit. It's become like a routine every night. It's driving me freaking crazy. This is what I mean. I caved and this girl pooped on the potty. I just, it's, she did it to herself. The boy who cried wolf, you know what I mean?